Hello everybody, Anand here. Today's topic is going to be proportion. Proportion is basically an extension of a ratio, but it's to do with more than one ratio. When you say two ratios are equal, now suppose you have a ratio A by B and you have a ratio C by D and suppose they are equal. We say that A, B, C and D are in proportion. C and D are in proportion. So we have even cases of comparison of a ratio and the actual quantities. Say for example, the ratio of your savings to your earnings is 3 is to 5. And your actual earnings and uh, savings, if you see, they are, suppose earnings is 5,000 and your savings are 3,000. Even these two, 3 by 5, 3,000 and 5,000, they are also said to be in proportion. So whenever we have two or more two ratios equal, then the four terms, the antecedent of the first, consequent of the first, antecedent of the second, and the consequent of the second ratio, they are all said to be in proportion. Now out of this, we have, this is what we are going to take up in the process of proportion. We will be learning about various types of properties. Now out of these, this could be called the first proportional this is the second proportional, this is the third proportional, mm -hmm. and this is the fourth proportional. So A, B, C, and D, in which if A by B is equal to C by D, we say A, B, C, and D are in proportion. A is the first proportional, B is the second proportional, C is the third proportional, D is the fourth proportional. As simple as that. Now, how do we apply these things is what we are going to look at in this topic called proportion. Now let's quickly look what exactly we're going to cover in this particular topic. What is, how do we go deeper into this concept of proportion? Let's see what we have in store. So we're going to start with what is proportion and I gave you a brief view of what proportion but we'll go deeper into that. Then there are problems based on missing terms. That means suppose two ratios, the proportion has been given out or that one of them is not known to you. How do we find that? then various types of properties of proportion we'll be doing. That is whenever two ratios are equal or if four terms are in proportion, what are the various types of property? Now, there is also a special kind of proportion called mean proportion which exists between three terms wherein one of the terms repeated itself. So, it is ultimately four terms but one of the terms gets repeated and we have a case of continued proportion and also mean proportion. We did a small example in ratio about this, but we'll be doing it in more details. And as usual, just to test and to understand exactly how you could apply, we're going to have a quiz, after which there will be application-based problems as to how do we use proportion concepts in day-to-day -day life or even real-life word problems. So let's start with the concept of proportion now. 